Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and still haven't come up with a new name yet but it'll probably just be my name I think. I'm out on my kayak again, my sandbank style Optimal. I always forget the name. I think it's Optimal isn't it? Yeah. I'm in Shrewsbury, my hometown and I'm on the 7. Just had a quick paddle through town. I say quick, it was leisurely sort of a 25 minute paddle about two, uh, two and a half kilometres, something like that. Uh, against the wind though, there's not much wind like, but against the slight breeze. But So I'm going to head back now and uh, the wind will be, be behind me. So I'm going to go back past where I started, which is the canoe slip rate at Frankwell, if you know it. And then I'm going to go out into the countryside a bit and turn around. I'm going to try and aim for about sort of seven or eight kilometres in total. It's an absolutely glorious June day and uh, it's wonderful down here by the river. Lots of people out enjoying the sunshine, having ice creams, having picnics and all that kind of stuff. Not too many people on the river, I guess, but, uh, you know, back up towards the canoe hire place is a few. So I'm going to head that way and uh, I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to put you in my pocket, as usual, and take you up the river. kind of arts festival on at the moment so the uh, I think the local knitting club has uh, decorated the bridge here with uh, knitted bunting and a few uh, yarn bombings occurred on various post boxes and and such around town yeah. Bellevue Arts Festival, it's on the wrong way around, but hopefully you can see that knitted bunting up there. Nice looking pub beer garden up there, which I haven't tried yet. Lived in Shrewsbury now for, oh, getting on for four years really. Well, it'll be, it'll be four years at the end of this year. And uh, that is a pub I haven't tried yet. But it's definitely on the old bucket list, the Column Tap. Doesn't look like much from the front. But uh, it certainly looks like it's good from the from the rear. It's the old brewery up ahead, which has uh, since been turned into uh, well apartments, that kind of stuff. Some pretty nice ones in there. I'm told I've never been in, but. Uh, if you're thinking about coming to town, stay, there is a nice Airbnb there, right on the river. Not against the wind now, but I am against the current, the, uh, well, the flow of the river, which is very slow, but... So... It seems just as hard work as it was coming before, coming down the other way, but now I don't have any kind of breeze because it's all behind me. So it's quite warm. Somebody coming in one of the hired motorboats, bad looks. Maybe it's not hired, maybe it's a private one. Certainly creating quite work. Nothing that troubles this boat though. Coming up to the <coughs> Kingsland Bridge now. This is actually a tall bridge, this one. It's, I, I, I can't remember how much it is, but it's, it's, pen, it's pence, like 50p or something like that. 
they lifted the tolls during lockdown and Covid and such, but uh, they're back in effect now. I think they were last year actually. It's only a toll bridge for cars, obviously, just make that clear. You can walk over it for free. <clears throat> under the Kingsland Bridge now and we're coming up to the first of the big rowing club boat houses uh, I think this one technically uh, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong but I think this one is actually belongs to Shrewsbury School so Shrewsbury School is the big uh, public school at the top of the hill there in fact you can see it up there so yeah so that's Shrewsbury School up there big expensive uh, public school and then you've got its boat house which I don't know if you can pay a lot of money and be a member anyway but uh, you know rowing's not my thing but it's a beautiful looking building it's by the side of the river uh, you're not allowed to uh, get in and out of your kayak there unfortunately though it's private you can walk there is a footpath along the river though you can walk past it on the right hand side of the river you can't really see it at the moment because of the all the uh, vegetation on the bank but that is the quarry park which um well i'll get into trouble by the locals calling it the quarry park because it's just you know they prefer to call it the quarry even though shrewsbury council call it the quarry park but who am i to say what people who've lived here all their lives call things but it's a beautiful park it's where i do my park run pretty much every saturday Certainly in the summer. <laughs> lots of green space and seats and picnics. Do lots of events there as well, like food festivals and flower festivals and beer festivals, all kinds of festivals. The river level is probably about the lowest I've seen it, to be honest. I don't think I've ever seen it. Explores before, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Forgot to bring my gloves out with me, so my hands are a little bit sore. But not too bad. And here's the other the rowing club boat house. This one um, begins with a P. We'll get there when we get there, we'll see the sign. But this one is. You can, you can join, I don't know how much it is, but I'm sure it's not too bad if you're really into it. Somebody just getting in there, a single person, I don't know what they're called. But if you come down on a morning, certainly when I come down on park run on a Saturday, it's, uh, it's quite a few people getting lessons and stuff and they, the instructors will ride their bikes alongside the river and shouting instructions and stuff, it's quite funny. And here comes Sabrina. Sabrina is the uh, main sort of, well it's the only real sort of cruise boat that does um, cruises up and down the river. Basically what I've just done now, it'll do a cruise. It's not too much money, it lasts about sort of 20, 25 minutes, but you can get uh, special cruises. So I think you can on a Sunday get a Sunday Ross cruise and they do sometimes um, party cruises and stuff like that. Coming up to another bridge now, I forget this one's name, I'll put it in a caption, if I remember. But I call it the Wobbly Bridge, a uh, few people call it the Wobbly Bridge, but because it's certainly, if you get get a few people going and they're walking in step, then uh, it doesn't have to get a wobble on it. 
uh, <clears throat> you sometimes get some kids jumping off it. I say kids, probably like young adults, I guess, jumping off it and swimming. But I suspect the water level might be too low at the moment for that. Uh, but you never know, kids will be kids. On the left there we've got the boathouse pub, so it's not actually a boathouse, but it's the boathouse pub. And there is definitely no better setting for a pub in town. It's a beautiful place to be. The only thing I'd say is it's maybe... The, the, the drink and the food is, is good, but it's not as good as the surroundings look. And it's also, you know, because it is the nicest place in terms of the setting on a nice day, the prices do reflect that. Uh, but, you know, we went for our 10th year wedding anniversary and it was good. But it was one of the things that you know, we were really looking forward to and it ended up not being as good as we thought. Behind me is the sort of main Quarry Park uh, boat rental place where there's also a coffee shop and an ice cream van and a big kids play park if you want to bring your kids there, a really good kids play park actually. That sort of horse park thing up there is where you hire your canoes from and they'll get one out and put one in the water for you. I think you can also hire sups and stuff like that as well. It's a public jetty as well so you can launch from there if you like so we've just come around the other side of town now so we've done a big loop so now I'm back it, facing into the wind and now I've got the wind against me and the floor of the river against me so it's getting a little bit fun but certainly making good progress still so here's a couple of people out on their hired canoes. You can also hire them from Frankwell, which is where I launched from, which is on the other side of the river, just past the Theatre 7, which is that big building you can see in the distance. I should say I, have, I haven't lived through be very long, as I said earlier. So some of these things I've picked up, but like facts-wise, may not be accurate because I haven't actually sat down and read that much about Shrewsbury. I've just picked it up as a gun. where you get the Sabrina boat tours from uh, just next to the Welsh Bridge which is one of the main uh, road bridges in and out of town which is in itself right next to the Theatre 7 uh, not been to the Theatre 7 yet but again something on the old bucket list to do but yeah here's where you get the uh, Sabrina boat tours from and up there is also a couple of good bars and restaurants um, which uh, you know, worth of a look at. They also, Sabrina guys also hire uh, like a picnic barge. I think it's maybe self drive. That thing at the end of the pier basically is like a picnic barge which you can take out and have yourself a good old meal on. Essentially, it's like a it's like a floating dining table. Here we go, under the Welsh Bridge. Darwin double helix stroke vertebrae stroke, I don't know, sculpture. It's most obviously meant to signify Charles Darwin because maybe you didn't know that Charles Darwin was actually born here in Shrewsbury. <laughs> Oh, 
That's the main public slipway. If you were bringing a bigger boat down, that's where you would launch it, or one of the places I guess you could launch it. There's the Frank Well suspension bridge. Uh, you've got a Frank Well car park just on the left hand side there, which is one of the big main big car parks for town. Uh, it's a long stay and it's like a bush but uh, bus bus and coach park and you can get a motorhome and all that kind of stuff in there. Uh, and then you've got this handy bridge that basically takes you right into the town centre just within a two or three minute walk really. It's also a place up on the right there, it's quite nice. We've been, been there actually for a drink. It's a, a nice little bar to go and have a drink there. But it's also a Thai restaurant, I believe, uh, which I think is meant to be pretty good. I'm not eating there, but it's uh, right next to the Premier, or right across the road from the Premier Inn, which is the grey building you can maybe see in the background. Uh, so if you're in town and um, you know for business and staying at the Premier Inn, or just staying at the Premier Inn anyway, then it's maybe worth checking out since it's just across the road. So just coming up to Frankwell Canoe Slipway, which is the sort of canoe, the slipway owned by the Canoe Club, uh, which you can use if you're not even if you're not in the Canoe Club. Uh, this is where I launch from, so my park, my car is parked in Frankwell Car Park, which is free. Frankwell Car Park is free after 6 p.m. Uh, weekdays and Saturdays, or all day Sundays and bank holidays, which is still good. Uh, so I'm going to keep going. So. I'm back to my start point, so I've done about just shy of five kilometres. So I'm going to go a bit further back the other way uh, for maybe a kilometre and a half, two kilometres, and then turn around and come back. Looks like the subway is pretty busy at the moment anyway. It's another place you can hire a canoe and stand up on the board from is, is Frankwell Car Park. Basically at the bottom of the car park is a gate to the cricket club, and at the end of the cricket club field, uh, into the cricket field is uh, where the canoe club set up and uh, rent, you know, canoes and kayaks and sups. So I should say this bit of river basically is uh, public navigation, so you don't actually need any kind of license to be on here. Not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess that's how the uh, Rental kayak, uh, rental canoe places can operate. Quite a strong breeze on this section, right in my face. Haven't they? No, sorry.
absolutely serene up this part of the river. Once we've got past all those swimmers and boaters. I really need to sort out a mount for the front of my boat for my camera. It looks like there's smoke coming out over the water here, is it? I think it's just a barbecue. I think there's like a I think the shore ground is here on the right, but there might be some kind of campsite, caravan site thing there as well. Or at least a caravan rally using the shore ground. So I guess that's just smoke from barbecues.
everybody that's going to do with me that concludes my little paddle tour through Shrewsbury uh, my battery's about to die my memory card's nearly full so I'm gonna head to this slipway which is a bit congested so I'm gonna wait my turn but I'm gonna power my camera around put it back in my dry bag and I will see you in whatever the next video is if you made it this far and you like this kind of stuff don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah all that good stuff and I'll catch you in the next one